everyone so today i'm going to be doing a shein haul now i did actually make this order about a month ago um and i was like i could turn it into a haul and i did check just before i filmed this um if everything's still in stock and as far as i'm aware it all is so i'm going to link everything below um that i show in this video if you want to go check them out and if i can't find the exact same thing i'll link something similar so let's get started so it's my first time ordering from shein is it shein or sheen i don't know we're gonna go with shein um, so I wanted to see if it was all the hype because it is so, 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 so cheap and let me tell you, I was not disappointed for the majority. So I ordered some clothes, accessories and then some random bits on there so we've got a right good mixture. So let's get started with the clothes. First of all, what I do love and I did not expect this is they put the clothing in really cute little zip bags. Um, considering like it's such a cheap company like i wouldn't have never expected that you don't even get that from like places like i don't know asos and top shop you don't even get stuff like that and they're quite a bit of a high price so yeah so i've got some um bikinis which i'll show you in a minute but they came in this really cute palm palm tree bag and then the normal ones came in that and i just thought they'll be so handy and well for when you go on holiday to put your bikini in um just anything for storage really anyway so i really like that little touch um so first we're going to get in with the first clothing item I bought um, and I bought this lovely floral lace bralette. I believe this was 4 99 something like that. Just look at that, it's so, so, so cute. I really, really wanted a lovely bralette that you could just wear with like shorts or some nice trousers or a skirt and it didn't look well too much like underwear and I think I found the perfect one. It's not too cropped but it's like really short. It's a really nice kind of length because it you've got that bit underneath and then as well the straps are so 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 pretty They're just like some elastic and yeah i really love the floral lace pattern on it and it is fully padded so again brilliant you don't have to wear a bra with it um because that is the idea of bralettes because again with a lot of bralettes they're not padded and i wanted a padded one but yeah i just think it's so 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 pretty so uh considering like on other more expensive places these would probably be like 20 quid or something you can't go around wrong for five quid obviously it is very delicate because I guess it is made out of cheap material. It doesn't look cheap, but it sort of feels it. Um, so, yeah, you'd have to be quite careful with it because it's very delicate. Also, I got all of my clothes in a size small, I believe, which is an 8 on their website. So, yeah, next I got a lovely kimono. I believe it was $7.99. Um, and it's just this lovely white sheer one. And then, sort of on the sleeves, you've got this tassel pattern. And again, at the bottom. And it goes down long enough that you can just wear it just with a bikini and it would cover you um and i just think yeah it's so cute and i have plenty of kimonos but i don't have one plain kimono that would go with everything and considering most of the bikinis i owned are patterned you sort of need um a plain one and this would also be lovely to just wear like if you were on holiday obviously we're not really going to be going on holiday this year because as you can tell a few of these things i bought were for holiday in mind um but it's fine they'll save for next year but yeah this would also be really beautiful with just some shorts and a t-shirt and some skirt and if you just needed to cover up in the evenings if it got a bit colder um but you know what it would also be perfect to wear in the uk at the minute because we are getting really really hot weather and i believe in about three days time it's going to be 30 degrees so that would definitely be like shorts and t-shirt weather for sure the last two items talking about summer and holidays are bikinis so it's a real risk ordering bikinis online for me i don't think i've ever ordered a bikini online um but they were £10.50 for a set £10.50 like i feel like that's even cheaper than primark and let me tell you they are so 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 nice um and yet yeah, they fit me really well and i love the shape of them this type definitely suits my body really well um so there first of all i've got this pink snake print one and it's got really lovely thick straps yeah and i love the style where it's like straight on the top and um, they are also both padded again which is a bonus because that's again what i like for swimwear but yeah just really really lovely and then here are the bottoms so these are high leg now last year i didn't actually like high leg ones um so but i thought i'd give it a go and i really really like them and again it suits me best but also it's not too like high leg that like it's really thin material so as you can see they're still quite a lot of material which again i like i don't get how people can wear really really skimpy bikinis i definitely can't um so yeah so the set together looks really nice and it's so good quality as well you really wouldn't know how cheap it was now the next one is very very similar style but we've gone for tie-dye so oh my god it looks so much like the camera picks up so much color it's not as okay no it's nearly as blue as it is on camera in real life so again it's the same sort of style but this time you've got um thin straps 
um, which are also adjustable. To be honest, on the other ones, it fit me absolutely perfectly. So if you're anything are like my body type and you've got quite small boobs, then size 8 definitely fits well. But yeah, so this is this one. And it's just gorgeous. Like, I just love the pattern. And they did have this one. They had the pink um, state print one in a few colours as well. But I believe they have this in like 10 or so colours. And I think they've got loads of different styles of this. Um, yeah, I love that. And then the bottoms, again, it's a high leg one. Um, but again, still got enough material. Um, what way? Okay, there we go. That's the right way. So yeah, really, really lovely. And... I really like that colour on me as well. Now for accessories. So also with holiday in mind, I ordered a bum bag. Now I've got quite a few bum bags, but none again that are plain that would go with everything. And I just feel like I needed that. So I got this one. Again, I believe it was about £6.50. And um, so it's really, really lovely. So it's got like this sort of sort of quilted pattern, can you see? So it's not completely plain. And it's got two zips, so you can fit plenty in. I don't know if it's completely waterproof, but it's definitely waterproof material. Um, and then it's got a strap at the back and again this strap is the best for me um, because you can tighten it um, to how tight you need it and it's not going to fall down so yeah really love that. I actually can't believe how cheap it would like you'd probably spend again like £20 for this in a um, other high street store so yeah really love that. Next I got some sunglasses and again it came in like amazing packaging. The sunglasses came with a whole really lovely case and now we got that from another brand. I have had cases but like only the flimsy ones but this is a proper good case. Um, again, they had loads of sunglasses, and again, and it was a it was a risk because there were so so many, and I sort of just picked a random pair um, because I did need some more ones because my black ones from last year had broke, um, and these are the perfect pair. I think they were six um, five ninety nine, and look, it's got this lovely like gold pattern at the side as such, and then I love this shape, and it's sort of I suppose a pale kind of black purpley tinted lens. You can sort of see. And yeah, I really, really love them. I just think they're the perfect sunglasses that would just go for sort of any outfit. And also, the other good thing is when you put them on your head, they don't have them annoying little lens things that get stuck. Because that's my pet peeve with sunglasses when they get stuck in your hair. Um, so yeah, really like them. I'm loving like wearing hair accessories at the moment, like scrunchies and headbands and stuff. And again, I really wanted to get all of them on the website, but I had to choose. So, first of all, I went with this one which is a lovely kind of scalloped headband just a really nice pale pink colour and then a would you call this a stone colour so yeah again really really lovely it looked good with your hair up it looked good with your hair down um they'd also just be perfect if you needed to put your hair out the way while you were at home or like if you were washing your face or in the shower or something but then they'd also look really really pretty so there's some really cute outfits like a plain outfit like this actually this would look really nice to bring some colour into it the other hair accessory i got which these are one of the items that didn't exactly come how they looked on the picture so they're these three satin alice headbands with a knot at the top so you got three colours again it was cheap i can't moan um so first of all this black satin one which is really really lovely and then again this this is more like a pearly cream would you say goldy um, headband which will look so 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 pretty and again it will just sort of like add spice to any outfit and then the next one i'm very disappointed about um it's quite a bright like in your face pink um yeah it was meant to be like a really really pale pink um so i don't know how wearable this would be i mean it sort of more looks like something that you'd wear for like a fancy dress outfit i don't know um i don't know if i could personally make this color work myself but the other two are great so i forgot i had one more clothing item to show you so this was the clothing item that properly let me down and actually it was the it was the one item in the haul where i'm like okay you can tell why it's a cheap website so i really just think it depends on what you buy i feel like it's probably hit or miss some items are good, some items aren't. The majority of items I bought were really great. Um, but again, I think it sort of just depends. Um, but anyway, so I did want a pair of leggings, where um, pocket leggings, where you can put your phone in them. Now, we do have a pair of this from P VS Pink. But they're really lovely, but they're really, like, thick. Um, and they aren't really good for the summer. They're only good for the winter. So I wanted a thin pair. I don't know if how well you're going to be able to tell on camera, but this is what I got. Now, the first right i've got with this is they're meant to be full length i'm less than five foot two these are three quarters on me 
Now, I've never ever bought a pair of trousers or leggings that are small for me. So it was obviously an error. I don't know if they sent me the wrong item or what. But first of all, they're not what I was looking for. Second thing is I thought they were going to be like either normal legging material or like, you know, the sport legging material because that is how they were advertised. Um, no, they're more like, don't even know how to explain it. It's that material, I don't know if you can see this, where literally anything sticks to it. So right now there's so much dust on it. It's unbelievable. It's like a, I don't know, it's a really, really soft material that you'd probably expect to more find an, on a pyjama top or something like that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Um, pocket doesn't really feel stable enough stable enough to hold your phone in i'm not gonna lie and also they weren't tight at all now leggings are meant to be tight right and <laughs> these were just really baggy on me also the top bit here like so wide and like this bit and you don't want that bit baggy um so not what i expected at all um and they had so many on the website as well so then it it sort of made me believe that i maybe order should I have ordered another pair or are they all going to be like this? Um, because the materials are very similar when you look online. Um, but they did come in handy for giving them to my mum. Because I thought there's no point just sending one item back. They should have fit me but they they fit perfectly on my mum. Um, and my mum, I think she's a size 12. By that, I would go down two sizes if you want them. Definitely not what I envisioned at all. So a bit more onto a positive note, my favourite item, which I'll get my absolute favourite item is this drawstring bag it perhaps doesn't look the best there was like I think like eight or so colours but it's a travel bag which I'm not going to probably need this year you could actually keep it in your room as well it's to put your makeup in or toiletries but the best part about it um, is you open it and it completely goes completely flat so you could put I should what should we demonstrate with I've just put my headbands in there because they were in front of me You've also got zips as well in there, which I think is really good. So yeah, lay, pretend that all your makeup and all your toilets in there. Bear in mind, you can get quite a lot in there. Um, so you've just used all your makeup and stuff. And then all you have to do is that. And it's all together. Put the Velcro lid on. Tie it up and you're good to go. So the perfect thing about this is, when you're travelling and stuff, all you have to do is open it and your makeup's there. You don't have to like worry about chucking everything out of your bag and then getting a bathroom messy. Or like I said, just at home if you wanted this in your room. Like I have a makeup bag which I keep my makeup in and every single day I take my makeup out. Um, and then it sort of has messed my whole entire room up and then I don't have time to put it away. So then skip to later on and my room's still a mess and then I have to put it away again. This is just easy. You don't even have to sort of like mess. You can just keep it in there. Like that's how simple it is. Um, and for £6... I'm sorry, but that, it's a really good invention. I don't know if I'm selling it across to you enough. The next item, which I haven't used yet, because, okay, this is probably like the second let down item. Um, I mean, it was only three quid. And with this exercise thing, so they have so much um, exercise stuff on the website, I thought I'd just go for like one of the cheapest things and something that, yeah, I'm not going to waste my money on if it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. So, you're meant to do like, it's meant to be for like strengthening, so you're meant to proper pull it, and like wider than that, I like so you can get your arms, I mean, basically, so you can work on building muscles on your arm now. <laughs> Not being funny, but the reason why I'm doing that, if I go any further or any harder, it will snap. Um, I mean, if a kid wants to use it, it might work. But to me, who's quite small anyway and doesn't even have much strength as it is, if I go any further, I can tell you that is going to snap. So yeah, um, it's not quite what I expected it to be. I probably won't use it just for the fear of it snapping, um, but there you go. And the last item, which I love, but it's also really annoying as well, is head massager, which I believe this was five quid. Maybe it was cheaper. I feel like this is one of these presents that you either get gifted or you want in your stocking or something like that. Now, I've never had one and I've always wanted one, so I thought, let's just buy myself them. I know you can get them in places like Primark and Amazon and stuff, but I saw it on Shein, so I thought with the order, I will buy it. So so lovely wait if i do this will i ruin my hair i'm gonna see if i'm gonna show you what happens so all you have to do is just so lovely okay it's not it's not gonna do it it's my hair's up and i've got hairspray in but you just plonk down your head and it goes all the way down and it feels so 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 relaxing but the only gripe i've got with it is and i wouldn't found out because i was going like this bear in mind i'd only been using this for about a minute 
Um, so it's not even like I've used it loads and then it's broken. It broke within the first few seconds. As I was going down and I lifted it back off, some of the wires just got stuck in my hair. <laughs> just had wires sticking out of my hair. It had come away from this. So yeah, it's just really flimsy. So the kind of the taller ones, I'm like, oh, it's not doing it now. Literally before I filmed this clip, I had to put the wires back in so it fell out. Here we go. Shook it really lightly and ones fell out. And earlier on, a few of them had fell out. Okay, they're not doing it now. I must have put it back in quite well. Oh, there we go. Another one's gone. So this is a thing. I mean, you are paying cheap. They do just slot back in easy, but it's not something that you really want to be happening. Okay, so that's my Shein haul. I really hope you enjoy it. This is one of the only orders I've actually done through lot throughout lockdown because I've been trying to save my money. I did this probably about in the middle of lockdown, so I haven't actually bought much at all. Um, so that is one of the places where I've ordered from because I wanted to try it out. Um, and like I said, I did want a few bits for holiday, but that'll last for next year. Um, but yeah, really, really love. I would definitely order from them again. Not anytime soon, because I'm trying to save my money. But I always see so many adverts coming up on Facebook and stuff. And there looks like there's so many nice clothes as well. That I just can't believe how cheap they are now. I'm saying it's how cheap a lot, and it does worry me that they're that cheap. Like, mm, are they probably underpaying their workers in the factories? Or does everywhere else just massively price up to get a massive profit? Um, I don't know. And again, I feel like some products is a hit and some products is a miss. It's a bit of a gamble. Um, but the returns policy is easy as far as I'm aware. Um, so it's not really a too much of a problem. So thanks for watching today's video. Please like and comment below. And if you are new, remember to subscribe. I do videos every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at 5 o'clock. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.